Within the Crosstracks platform, there are three ways to open a new case. The first, click on cases. The second item down here is add new. You can also create a new case by using the quick add new button and the add new case is the first item here. Another way to add cases in bulk format is over under cases and click on bulk import. The bulk import feature allows you to import a large amount of cases into Crosstracks all at once. Since this is a specialized feature, we'll cover this topic in a separate video. When you click on add new case from either one of these buttons, you'll be taken to the add new case screen. Now, there are seven fields that are required, and those are the client, the case type, the case service, the due date, the budget, the manager, and then the subject's first and last name. If you don't have the subject's first and last name, I would recommend entering Jane or John Doe into that until you can obtain the information that you need from the client. This will just get your case file opened. These required fields could also differ from case type to case type, depending on how you set up your system. If you set up a form where the synopsis is required or you added a custom field, such as this subject to field that's required and you designated this field as required, then you may find additional ones in the system. So if you fill this out, you can click clients, you can choose them, go down, choose the people, if you operate a smaller company, your sales rep, case manager, service manager could all be the same individual. So once you fill out all the required information, you can click on submit. And if all the required fields have been satisfied, you'll see the new case listed right here. We'll go over here to our case list. And you'll also see the Robert Stedman case that we just created should be right up here at the top. And here it is. It's in a pending status, which our pending statuses are all highlighted in blue so that we know that that case needs attention. One of the other features I want to point out is the on-screen tutorial here. If you're teaching someone to create new cases, you could have them click on open a new case. Once they click on that, they'll pull up these on-screen tutorials, which will guide them through the process of opening new cases. If you have somebody that you're training to do data entry, this is a really helpful tool and eliminates the need for somebody to sit with them the entire time and show them how to perform each step when opening new cases. So just to recap, we have three different ways we can open cases. We can click on add new under the cases in the navigation bar. You can click on the green button at the top and the first item is add new case and we can and we can also import cases in bulk and that will be covered in another video once you get to the add new case screen just be mindful of the required fields once you enter your case information click submit